you know, it was, it was more so just thinking back to, you know, all the teams that I've been on and just appreciating the moment and appreciating everybody that has had my back. And, uh, yeah, so it was, it was very cool. The T formation obviously worked pretty well twice today. Um, T for, the, the T formation, your short yardage package. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right. How long ago did, when did you guys start putting that in? And when do you think it's a ball the season? I mean, we had, we've been running that since we had one. Um, I mean, it went from, plays and now a very extensive package that can score from anywhere. Um, so it's it's impressive. It's, it's a great package. I think that it, it does really well on short yardage. Obviously, it has big play potential, and especially when you have guys like Nick Simpson, Keyshawn Allen, it makes it even better. So, uh, but no, I you know really enjoying that package. Can you evaluate Mike Yurcich with different formations, different scheme? I mean, there are a lot of things you're doing this year. Quite frankly, we didn't see like how, how how much better does that make everything? Yeah, a lot better. I think that that was one of the things that him and I, when I decided to come back, it was something that we talked about. And I said, I want you to push me and push the, the quarterback room and the offense to to be able to do a bunch of different things. And that was one of the things that we spoke on early. We pushed us throughout spring ball through summer, and now it's paying off late in the season, being able to to show numerous different formations, shifts, motions, just dress up a bunch of different things and be able to run a bunch of different things. So kudos to Coach Yurcich. He's been putting in a lot of hard work. I know how hard he works, so it's uh, impressive to watch. Were the <laughs> calls the same play the, the two that Nick had? Were they the same call or were they a little different calls? <laughs> what is uh, what are you seeing from Nick these days? It seems like he's running with Excuse me, sir. authority and maybe even angry. <laughs> Is that, have you seen that before, or have you just seen that lately, or what? He's always been he's always been an angry running back for sure. He runs hard, runs with his pads forward, um, and he he wants the ball. He, he really really does. I mean, he'll come back after plays and literally tell tell me to to feed him. And it's one of those things where I'm like, dude, I don't call the plays. But, um, <laughs> if you want the ball, I'll try and get you the ball. But no, he's he's a great back. Him and Fat Man and. And uh, keep on as well. They're, you know, the whole room is awesome. And Sean, what are some things that you learned from Trace that you've made a point to um, pass on to the quarterbacks that uh, you've been mentoring over the years? Yeah, I think that the quarterback room is, you know, continue to evolve and grow and get better and better and just, you know, just continue to push each other. And you know, thinking back all the way to Trace's time, it was, it was more so, you know, in that room with Tommy Stevens too, Billy Fessler, Jake Zembeck. Um, feels like forever ago, but at the same time, you know, those guys always taught me um, humility, passion, and just being able to to have love for everybody at the same time as being competitive. So, you know, I just try to show that to, to the young guys. Um, you know, never, you know, always just trying to be the best teammate, the best leader that I can, the best captain for this team. And then, you know, when I'm in that room, being able to, to go past just a couple of the X's and O's, the plays, talk about why, the why behind a lot of it. Um, try to make it relatable and try to accelerate, honestly, their process as fast as possible. That's my, that's my goal with the young guys is to, to get them to, to be masters of the program, masters of the, the offense, you know, as soon as possible. So just every day, that's, that's a mission of mine, and I'm, I'm happy with all three of their developments. It's been very impressive. It's one of my you know, favorite, not only rooms, but I, it's, it's tough to match them up. I mean, it's... Super competitive, and at the same time, great group of guys. So I, I love that. I love that our quarterback room right now. Sean, what does it say about this offensive line that they've been able to overcome these injuries for the second straight week? Yeah, I can't. I can't give enough credit to the guys up front. I know. I know it's cliche to say. You know, every quarterback says it, but really, especially this year, been banged up. You don't hear a peep from anybody. Juice hold us down the fort up front. Um, it starts with him, it ends with him. He's the same guy every single day, and he's a role model for a guy like me. Um, you know, you think that you're you're here for six years, you might not be able to learn something, but at the same time, every single day I learn something from Juice, I learn something from Olu, the old guys in that group, just about hard work, dedication, it's just constant reminders. And, Really cannot say enough about the guys up front. I love those guys. Your you first touchdown here. You were yards away from the I was told, yeah, I was told, but you know how it is. Once you get on the field, that's the last thought in your mind. 
So, Sean, you made it. Having the line that you have now in the running backs, take stuff off your plate and make your job a lot easier. I think whenever you can have a balanced offense, it's going to make your job easier as a quarterback just because when you can give the ball off and, and continue. At, at halftime, we were averaging 10 yards for both backs on a carry. I mean, when, when you're averaging a first down, realistically, like why? I'm not even saying because of like, why would you pass it at that point? You know, it's just so, like, they're just so efficient um, and they just, they just run really hard behind, you know, tight ends and offensive line that play extremely hard, so I, I can't give enough credit to all those guys. Uh, really turned the running game around this year, so it's impressive. It's very impressive to watch. I know Sean, you made a pretty. Pass here was a, a, t- a touchdown, or for your first uh, completion was a touchdown in 2018. So what's it mean just to come out today and, and break the record with a touchdown as well? Yeah, it was. I mean, it was cool. Not I really. I, I really didn't even think about it until after the game, um, but it was it was definitely cool. it was a cool day. Maryland's a very good football team. I, I, I believe that. You know, they, we just played them really well today. And I'm, I'm proud of our guys. I'm proud of the defense too. That was one of the best defensive performances I've, I've seen in a long time against a, a quarterback that I have a lot of respect for, with Talia. Um, known him for a while, been competing with him against for three years now. Um, so kudos to our defense because I know what that offense can do. I know Sean, that you're you very focused on the now, but. You're reaching the point in your career where nothing is guaranteed. You've got at least three games of football left, and then in theory you could never play football again, however it all works out. Do those things ever, you know, before you fall asleep or when you wake up in the morning, does it creep into the mind somewhere when you just sort of think about life the way that everybody else thinks about life? No, no, I think that, you know, with everything going on, um, it's hard to not be in the present. Um, So, uh, yeah, I I don't really think about it that much, and, you know, with, with this year and everything that's happened, um, you know, on and off the field, I'm saying specifically for myself, uh, just grown in so many different areas. So, you know, the thought of leaving here before was definitely you know, scary, like everybody um, would say. But at the same time, at this point in my, in my career, I'm, like I've, I've said it, I'm, I'm a very happy guy. I'm, I'm enjoying every single day with this team and this program and the coaches. So, I, no, I, I, I got no problem. Sean, your sense of... Did you see James doing the push-ups? <laughs> no, I didn't. I saw him yelling at me, though. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear about that? I was the cause of that. Yeah, I was. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave that to him. To Sean, is your sense of appreciation just for being Penn State's quarterback, has that gone stronger over the past month, being that, you know, for example, you woke up this morning with two games left in Beaver City and now you have one game left. So would you say the sense of, I guess, appreciation has increased since November started and your time is winding down here? You know, I, the, one of the first things that I was taught when I came into this program was – Appreciate it, appreciation and the importance of it, and being able to, to really, um, you know, just think about all your blessings and never have any regrets. And I am really that, that's one of the most proud things I am I can say is I, I don't regret you know anything that has happened. You know, do I, like I've said it in the past, like, do I regret a throw? Yeah, for sure, a bunch of throws, uh, hundreds of throws. <laughs> but at the same time, you know. When it comes to how I've approached the game, um, how I've approached every single day in the locker room, D- did I have some bad days? Yeah, for sure. But at the same time, I know I, I've given this program everything I got, laid my guts on the line for this place. And uh, yeah, I, 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 you know, I love everything about Penn State. And it's going to be sad to leave, but at the same time, I'm definitely, uh, you know, last two games, and I, I think, you know, myself and the Penn State community. Um, is, is definitely ready, ready to. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm with, I'm with. Only six other people have passed for uh, more than 